Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Today, I'm excited. We have Jim Simon. He's co-founder of Jimmy Bar with sister Annette. This is his sixth startup. He decided to tackle the food and obesity problem by creating a natural foods company. They only use wholesome ingredients that are gluten-free, dairy-free, that people can actually pronounce. Jimmy Bars can be found in Whole Foods, Walgreens, Target, Kroger's, and many, many more. Jim, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. So I always ask, Jim, since it's Inspired Insider, what's been the lowest moment and how you pushed through, and then what's been the proudest so far? Well, I'll tell you the lowest moment. Um, <laughs> I left, I left, uh, you know, I left a perfectly good six-figure job. You know, we, we, we had not been acquired yet. Um, we we're in the process of being acquired or, or chitty-chatting. And uh, I decided, okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave. Like we're, I knew we were going to get acquired at some point, but I, I left right before the acquisition because I was, you know, actually trying to do a different tech startup. So there was at one point in time, as you go from making a nice living to zero, I'm like, oh, well, I think I made a mistake. Not only zero, <laughs> but you probably are paying. Oh, yeah, you have, to put the... in, you have to put in your right. own so... there's, there's one point where I literally, I remember brushing my teeth in the morning thinking, I'm an idiot. Like, I had a really good situation. That's not a, a good a self-motivating gr- talk in the morning. Oh, yeah, with a great company where, you know, I was left alone to do deals, and I, I left the company. I knew that we were going to get acquired yeah. eventually, but, you know, le- leaving when I did, I, I left some money on the table. So yeah. I thought, you're really a, a true dumbass. Uh, the positives are... Something was actually, pulling you to do that, though, right? I mean, you... You know, you know what? I think as an entrepreneur, and especially, and especially if you're someone who started several companies, you know, it's not the first time I've left a perfectly good job. You know, I remember what... Uh, what the hell was it? It was a movie I saw once uh, with Clint Eastwood. He played a, a, an old, crusty Marine. And, uh, he, Sounds he, like he, all of them. Yeah. yeah, I know. I forget what it was, but it was, they were just about to parachute. And the and the soldier, young soldier was uh, was nervous, and he said, "Son, you know, jumping out of a perfectly good airplane is not a natural thing. Just do it." And it, I think, you know, leaving perfectly good jobs to start, you know, it's not a natural thing. Right. But I think, but the the fun that you have, you know, if you're that kind of guy or gal that wants to do your own thing, the, you know, it's I have figured out on paper it's worth 10x the money. So if I'm paying myself, I'm just going to make this up: 20 grand a year. Um, I would rather work for 20 grand a year working for myself than 200 grand working for a company. Yeah. Even if the company's great, because it's that it's being you feel claustrophobic working, not working for yourself, um, and it's almost it's almost castrating yeah. in a way. I, yeah. I can't explain it. It's your personality. Yeah, I mean you're used to that too by this point. Yeah, yeah. you're used to it. You know, and again having some some startups that have done well, having some startups that tanked. You know, uh, some acquisitions I shouldn't have done, some acquisitions that I probably should have done. You know, yeah. you, you make a lot of mistakes along the yeah. way. So proudest, what's been the proudest so far proudest with Jimmy Burris? Yeah. I think right now, I mean, we're we're in a good, really good place right now. We're, we're going into GNC nationally. That's a very, very big it's deal. Amazing. That's 3,500 stores. Yeah. Um, and we're building out the team. We'll probably have about 15 people working for the company by the end of the, the year. Um, and it's becoming real. You know, your first... Your first year in business is like, okay, you're getting over the like the postmortem, like, oh my god, I'm I'm really dumb. I left a good job. What do I do now? Yeah, your second year is like you're building the product and you're thinking, do I have anything here? Or am I just regurgitating Spinning what everybody wheels. else is? Yeah. Spinning your wheels, and then year three you sort of get it. And it it's been the same thing with the other companies I've started. It takes a couple of years yeah. till you figure it out. And and the food industry is not um, sophisticated. But it is the guy who works, the gal who works the hardest will win. I mean, it, it is a pound. It's three years, yards in a cloud of dust. You just have to do it. Yeah. Um, and that's and we feel like right now we're we're in a good place. Yeah. Jim, thank you so much. Everyone should check out JimmyBars.com. Fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate it. PD Chicago Med. <laughs> Uh, Empire. Why you know, why uh, Simon Casting? How'd that work out? Well, hence the last name. Um, it's my sister Claire. <laughs> I gotcha. So she, 
She, uh, she, she's a, you know, she's a big deal. So she's a big cat in Chicago. Big deal. And yeah, <laughs> she, she uh, has a huge studio space that she uh, leases out to us for, uh, you'll appreciate this as a startup guy, for uh, 500 bucks a month, plus I had to give her some equity. So I pulled an old technology trick and I, I gave her equity for a break on the lease. That's a good deal, I think. Um, so, because I saw it, several family members, right? Yeah, so, so my it, sister Annette is my partner. Right. Uh, her husband Filippo does our R and D. Um, we've got uh, our street team consists of um, nieces, nephews, nephews, uh, girlfriends, nieces. Have them pound the pavement. Yeah, have them pound that pavement in Chicago. That's why I see you all over. Like, there's a small shop in the suburbs that, and I, you know, you're everywhere. At least where here. are you based out of? Are you um, here in Chicago? I'm in Chicago. Um, but I'm in Highland Park, and there's like a small like, convenience store, one of my favorite places, and they have Jimmy bars all over the place there. Oh yeah, well you know we're we're from Chicago. I yeah, mean, we're no, I know Deerfield. that. We're from Deerfield. Oh, so. you are. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 So uh, okay. the Highland Park, yeah, like Bob's the, Pantry. Like and... Bob's Pantry ring a bell? Yes, it does. Okay, I'm one of my favorite places. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> 